Hello chess viewers and welcome to another chess video. This is Sixter playing against Poliloka from Spain. España. Cool. So this is the Nimzo Indian defense. If you haven't read it, read My System by Aaron Nimzovich. It will make you a good chess player. Trust me. I read that and I was like 1500 automatically. I didn't even play chess before that. I just read that book and I was amazing. Check. So go buy it. It's like $2 from somewhere. Uh, great book. Now, what am I doing? I, I was talking and I'm not thinking. So actually, I don't know what to do in these structures. I might already be screwing up. Might already be screwing up. I don't really know what I'm doing. Uh... Could take take in the center and he just gets a big center. Um what else? I'm tired. I'm so tired. Alright, let's I don't know if this is like an idea in these sorts of positions. Um but I'm gonna try this out. It's probably no good. Bishop d2 may be recommended. Okay, so now we can try to get a tempo on the queen with rook c8. Try to attack that queen. I don't. Uh, Bishop e2 is mysterious. Not really sure why he would do that. Maybe I'm gonna get checkmated, like uh, like in the last video. So where is he putting his queen? Queen might come to d3, but then you block the bishop. Uh, queen's kind of in an awkward, in an awkward place. Yeah, if queen d3, I just go bishop e4. If you put your queen there, you, uh, it's kind of in the bishop's way, I guess. Um, how do I prevent this bishop from developing? I'm looking at knight e4. Knight e4. Wow, I am having trouble keeping my eyes open. Really. It's that bad. Um, could also play bishop e4 myself. I like this idea. Maybe I moved too quickly, but I'm planning on bringing my rook down here, which he allows me to do. Yeah, I think this is good for me. I think this wins material. So although the bishop is protected for now, I am going to take this knight and remove the defender. Oh, but then he would... So he's protecting the bishop. All right, all right. What if I play my knights out here? What if I play knights d5? Did he think about that? Not sure. Is there a better move? No, I like knight d5. Let's keep attacking that queen. Stay on that queen. Ah, and now queen b1 is... No, no, well, he has queen a4 too. Queen a4. Is there even a way to trap the queen? I don't see it. But uh, the queen is running short of squares. Yeah, that's the only move. Then I think takes, and if he takes my rook, I take the, his bishop. So, almost messed up the move order there, order there. This is the way to do it. So I went two pieces for the rook, and that is supposed to be better for me. Supposed to be better for me. So we're going to come back and attack his queen again. Sure. If he goes e4, I just go bishop g6. He probably has compensation here. Definitely has compensation here. I'm not sure if that was a good move. He might be trying to transfer to the king side, but I, I don't see a king side attack. He doesn't have enough pieces with those uh, those rooks. Let's just go h5 to attack that queen. All right. I want to trade. I do want to trade. I also want to keep attacking that queen, though. Let's try to trade this way to get my rook in the game. 
I don't want to really bring my knights back just yet. So let's pre-move that in case he takes. But he probably won't. Okay, goes back here. Now I can maybe activate my queen. I've got control of the, B, the B1 square. So I don't have to worry about my queen getting attacked. So we'll just go here. Yeah, I was expecting that. And, um... I could go knight of 6 or I could go knight... C3. Uh... Whatever I do, I have to do it quickly. Let's go back here. So now I'm attacking two of his pawns. He probably has to push e5. Could push that. Oh, that works. Well, no, no, it doesn't work. So I just take it. So I think I'm in good shape. Now I really just have to worry about not blundering and also not losing on time. Those are my main worries right now. So, let's just keep moving. Okay, so... Lost a pawn, but that's okay. That's okay. If he goes back, I attack his queen. So I just have to move fast now. If he goes here... Let's just keep trying to trade queens while I think of a better plan. Uh... He might go queen h... I think queen h4 is probably best for him. Yeah, now I can threaten... Checkmate and stuff. He does have rook e8 check, but I'm not so worried about that. Right. Okay, so I induced a weakness. And now I can try to force... No, that would be bad. He has check. Well, if he, if he goes check, then I just play king h7. I don't have to trade. I thought I was losing my queen. But that is not so. Yes. Check. Okay, so I'm getting some pieces off, which simplifies the position for me. It makes my task easier. Okay, so let's attack your pawns. You attack me, I attack you. You can do that. And I can take this. And maybe I'm getting my knight trapped. No, I'm not. Check. I think he actually could have really taken advantage of that. Um, so now, is that checkmate? That is... Checkmate. That is checkmate. It's pretty, pretty aesthetic with those three pieces. Alright, let's go over that quickly. Oh, let me... Yes, okay. So, <clears throat> this kind of Nimzo Indian stuff. Check. Which I keep saying I'm going to learn it, and I keep not doing that. So. This, actually, that was not a, not a bad idea. At least, according to the computer. I'm not sure what, um, what theoreticians would say. Yeah, that was okay. And then rook c2. So that was um, basically the losing move for him. That was best play, and then knight d5, best play. Ah, apparently uh, rook takes d2 immediately would have been more accurate. What did I miss? After knight here, yes, knight c3. And I won a piece with check. Queen b4, and check, check and I win the piece, right? Did not see that, so I traded my rook for two pieces, which is still good for me. But he messed up my pawn structure quite a bit. And he could have really um, made this more problematic than he did. Uh, he didn't really set any problems for me during the game. So I kind of slowly just moved my pieces. And just made sure I didn't lose on time. That's what I try to do when I'm winning a game. So, played this pretty well. Now I'm now I'm trying to loosen up his king side. So I, I induced this weakness, so now I can attack other points. So I immediately attack this. Uh, in a way, forking these two, so um, he has to trade. What I was afraid of was check. check. This is what I thought I blundered, 
Um, so that if if I take, then actually white is winning. But I realize that after check. check, I don't have to take. I can just do this, and and then we're trading anyway. Okay. So the trade was four, check. and now the the win was more in my grasp. After this, knight takes h2 worked. What I was afraid of was something like this. And I was afraid that my knight might get stuck if he just protects his pawn. But the computer says to go on with h4. Um, and if g4, let's see what's going on here. f5. And the computer says I'm breaking out, out of this. With this kind of move. But um, this was hard... This would be hard for me to play in a real game. I I was afraid of my knight getting trapped here. So, complicated stuff. So, maybe an inaccuracy. But then I put Check. knight takes. And, interesting, the computer says um, that it's a forced mate no matter which way he goes. So he went to the, the right. Checkmate. And I checkmated him with my three remaining pieces. If he went to the left, there was this quicker one. Checkmate. So, yeah, let's just go to the game ending. Checkmate. Thank you for watching.